All right, welcome back uh, to uh, Energy Boom 101 uh, from the Transparent Barrel Studios, separate entities. Uh, and this is, uh, I think this is Dispatch from the Patch 2. Pretty sure. We're feeling good about that. Um, this little dispatch, we are going to focus on how we're going to track the energy boom, basically, how we're going to measure it. And usually the simplest ways to measure, uh, one of one of the ways we can do this is measuring um, the uh, wealth of the publicly traded energy companies, in particular the ones that are easily accessible to us. If you're in Norman, that would be the Oklahoma City companies. And we'll follow them, it's, you know, once a day, once a week, once a month, whenever. You can just sort of uh, check their share price at the end of the day's trading. And uh, we can see how it's been going for the last couple years or what we think it may do for the next few years. That's, that's another story altogether. This is just a, this is a show that tells a story. Uh, disclaimer, if we offer in, in investment or trading advice, run from it like a, uh, like a, like a scared cat. Um, but we do want to talk about um, the different oil plays in Oklahoma. This is Dispatch from the Patch 2. Oil plays in Oklahoma as well as the United States. And here's why. Because the natural gas energy boom that happened, I don't know, we can't remember, 2001 through 2008 or something, uh, was right here. And a lot of Oklahoma City uh, energy companies were very uh, involved and important in that. And that basic same application process is now happening in the oil plays of the United States. And they're in various stages of development. So you can look at them, and it turns out that a lot of these oil plays are also um, some of the premier drillers out of, out of Oklahoma City. So we can sort of do two things. We can keep our eye on this expanding energy boom in the United States by really at the end of the day just following maybe five, I don't know, we hope we can stop at five, um, energy companies in Oklahoma City, maybe a few from Tulsa, just basic Oklahoma culture. Um, and then we can also uh, see what's going on not only with them and their money in Oklahoma City, but with what they're doing throughout the United States. Continental is headquartered in Oklahoma City, but for a long time all their money's been getting uh, generated out of the Balkan, the Balkan beast. And uh, it'll be just a really nice, easy way to check in every day and get a nice overview for what's happening. So let's sort of decide the different oil plays that we're going to follow and how we're going to follow them. Up top is uh, the Bakken. Uh, I think Harold Hamm has been messing with that for probably over 10 years. And probably for the last two to three, it's when it's probably first started uncorking. Um, and it's still uncorking. And I would bet you money he has even more reserves in the ground than, than we know or Wall Street thinks. Um, but I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. So, uh, We'll, we'll follow Continental Resources to follow what's happening in the Balkan, as well as follow what's happening in Oklahoma City based on what kind of global capital is coming into Continental Resources. And uh, we'll also follow Continental Resources because they're going to tell us about their new little play in Oklahoma called the Scoop, South Central uh, Oklahoma Oil Province, I think, or it might be Providence, I don't know the difference in the two words, and it doesn't matter. Uh, I think it's the Woodford Shell play, but we'll follow Continental for the scoop, and um, which will probably be a major oil play in Oklahoma. Uh, so we've talked about the Bakken, and it's pretty well proven out. And there's a lot of drillers within the United States, as well as global drillers that are on the Bakken. But we're just going to look at Continental. We used to follow GMX, another story altogether. Um, there's also the Mississippi Line big oil play uh, in Oklahoma and moving into Kansas and may move as far north as Nebraska. They just have to, you know, you just have to uh, probably check the rock and see if it's economical. Um, but in Oklahoma, the Mississippi line is really big and we are fortunate enough to have some really big players in the Mississippi line uh, that are in Oklahoma City. Sandwich Energy is an enormous position in the Mississippi line and I would swear it's something like two million acres. I don't know, we'll do charts. We'll graph these cats out. They're crazy. And there's great stories behind all of them. Center Energy, Tom Will, great story. Uh, but they have an enormous position in the line, and they may be the largest pure play on the line. Uh, which brings us to a really small pure play on the line in Oklahoma, and 
that's a great segue to introduce what the show is really about, which is the magic of absurdity that's going to come to us through Osage Exploration. A little microcap driller, knocking the pants out of it in Logan County, and they do it in Payne County. But we're going to follow them as a nice, simple way to see what a boom is all about and the madness of it. And I think, by the way, they're trimming at about a buck thirty a share for what that's worth. Um, but Osage is a small company. But uh, Sandridge is big. Devon has an enormous position in the lime. I say enormous. I think it's 400,000 acres, of which 100,000 have basically been de-risked. And of which there, in, unless I misread the investor uh, presentation, which happens quite often, but I believe Devon has committed to drilling a thousand wells in their Mississippi Lime location of 100,000 acres over the next three years at about 330 wells a year. Um, so if you know that Devon's doing that amount, Sandwich is probably doing a bunch more too. Uh, and Chesapeake's got a big position in the lime, and there's probably others, but. Uh, the Mississippi line is a big play and may get bigger, probably will. And underneath it is the Woodford Shale, which is probably already big and may get bigger. Um, oh, you also have the Granite Wash. Great little play out in Western Oklahoma where uh, Apache is uncorking some big wells and Lynn Energy, headed by Paul, and I think the famous comedian from Hollywood Squares, um, is uncorking a lot of big wells. Um, but there's a lot going on. We're going to try and keep track of all of it. Uh, the trail come off the tracks in, in three weeks, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, other big oil plays, what, what kind of time do you think we have? Six minutes, 45 seconds into it? Beautiful, we got three minutes. Unbelievable. Um, Permian Basin, big oil play, West Texas, old school granddaddy, you gotta respect the Permian, you gotta respect West Texas. This is the old heart of the patch in the United States. Well, there's a new patch in the United States, it's an energy patch because you're getting other oil plays everywhere. But we talked about the Bakken, we talked about the Lime. Permian Basin is classic old school West Texas. Midland, Odessa, need I say more? God bless them. That would be a wicked place to hang out for about 10 years out there. We'll see. Um, Eagle Ford, I think, is a brand new play. Uh, and I bet Chesapeake was probably very important in um, unlocking it. You're going to see me reference Chesapeake quite a bit. Well, and it'll all make sense. Well, it won't, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the Eagle Ford, I think primarily uh, its oil is a, what's I think they call it a condensate. Uh, I'm sure I mispronounced that because it's condensate, three syllables, and I never made it past two. But uh, I think that's a sweet crude. And I'll try and figure this out, but I'm pretty sure that the irony of, of the global chess game is that the production out of Eagle Ford, I think, goes up to Canada primarily, so they can dilute their oil they get out of their Canadian sands to then bring down to some of our refineries. It's a gloriously entangled web that we weave. Shakespeare knew this. He should have been an oilman. Uh, the Eagle Ford is huge. Um, the Utica in Ohio is another new play. Like the Eagle Ford, it's a new play. Um, and it's probably going to be big, and we can follow Gulfport Energy out of Oklahoma City. Uh, they seem to be a, one of the premier drillers in there, and it's a great story because I think their CEO is a former school teacher. Maybe. We'll try. Maybe he'll come on the show. Uh, I seriously doubt it. The Utica in Ohio. By the way, just a quick, uh, I have to uh, give a quote. I think it was McClendon that said, the Utica is going to be the biggest thing to hit Ohio since the plow. Now that's about as, that's really about as good as it gets. And he's probably going to be right. So we're going to follow Gulfport and, and the Utica. Um, and speaking of McClendon, we'll be following American Energy Partners as well, probably up there. But that, I get ahead of myself. Utica is another big play. Um, there's a smaller, oh, the Neil Barrara, that may end up being a good oil play, I don't know, I, I, I sort of, they, I'll, we'll try and catch up on the Neil Barrara, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but uh, it has potential. There's a smaller oil play opening up, uh, and maybe it's been around for a while, this is in New Mexico, beautiful old oil patch state, Hobbs in close New Mexico, unbelievable, uh, but this is uh, the San Juan oil play, and just a prediction, which I'm sure will collapse. It's right now being drilled by Williams out of Tulsa. I bet it's a wicked little play, and I bet they fly under the radar. So check it out. Uh, and I think Williams also out of Tulsa. It's a quick side note, Global Energy Rainbow had a 77% ownership in APCO. APCO drills in Argentina, so it's really getting connected. We're gonna try and keep up with it. But that's Williams out of Tulsa. This is a small play that's sort of flying under the radar. The play that can be a lot of fun, though, to watch on court is the Monterey. It's in California. 
and the land of milk and honey is going to be the land of milk and black gold honey because they've always been a huge oil producer, but you've never really known that. And I bet if if they, being the exploration and production companies that are trying to uncork the, uh, the shale uh, in the Monterey, uh, can repeat in the Monterey what they did in the Bakken, uh, the game will be on and you'll have a wicked collection of cultures. And once again, California, being one of the greatest states in, in, in the United States as well as the world, will get it figured out because that's what they do there. At least they attempt to, and you've got to give them props for that for the first ones. But there's going to be a pretty good uh, collective culture emerging between crude oil, California, which is, you know, cannabis and a few other things. It'll be pretty wicked. Um, and I think maybe once again, Lynn Energy may be uh, pretty big there. I know Oxy is. There's some big California companies, big California oil companies, and they'll be putting the hurt on that. That's basically the um, oil place for the United States. And you can see that there's a lot of Oklahoma City energy companies that are directly involved in, in um, gathering those resources and advancing the understanding of gathering those resources and the whole game. And so it should be pretty easy to follow, I hope. We'll see. We should be able to sort of check in at the end of each day, get their share price, compare it to where it's been, see what we're thinking, get a little news, move on. I mean, the whole point is to try and work 33 seconds a day. That's it. And then call it a day. Uh, I feel pretty good about giving you an overview of the United States oil plays. And, and is this dispatch from patch two or three? No one knows. I think it might be two. Could be three. Who knows? Um, anyway, uh, we're probably close to wrapping it up. And I think the next dispatch, we may focus on the specific uh, Oklahoma oil companies and sort of talk about them in depth and their uh, leadership and their personalities. So that'll be next, but uh, this is a wrap for Dispatch from the Patch. Man, I think it's two, but maybe three. I, I'm, I'm trusting you. Uh, three, two, one, boom.